I will begin with a project called Show. Um, this show name stands for Shared Automation Operating Models for Worldwide Adoption. Um, the overall mission is basically to, to support the deployment of shared, connected, and electrified automation in urban areas through real-life demonstrations. The project has uh, received a 30 million euro funding. It is a three years, it's planned to be three years um, project. Um, it started in the beginning of 22, and it's planned to be completed by the end of 2023. Here is an overview of the consortium, the partners that are involved. The, um, it is 70 partners, if I'm not wrong. It say, states 69 here. I haven't updated it. Um, there are 13 EU countries involved, plus seven international cooperation. The consortium is coordinated by UITP and Co, coordinated by Artico and SARS. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is um, one of the projects with a very large consortium, 70 partners, and, uh, and uh, considering the funding of the project. Um, overall, as we said, there are um, 70 partners, and uh, the, co uh, the consortium um, includes industry partners, institutions, as well as public authorities. Uh, the mission, the overall objective, is to support the migration path towards effective and persuasive sustainable urban transport by deploying shared, connected, electrified fleets of autonomous vehicles in coordinated public transport, demands responsive pr transport, mobility as a service, and, uh, and uh, these are uh, implemented in several European cities addressing different modes of transportation. Oh, here, um, actually, I wanted to show you a brief video. Can we go to the link of this video? Video the link at Chablir, miss? Jaba? It's a nice video with an innovation that you can see. You can have an overview. Mobility is embedded in our DNA. Throughout history, we developed newer, faster, and more efficient means of transport. Today, SHOW is on a quest to bring our urban mobility to the next level and make it more sustainable, efficient, accessible, and safer. The SHOW project develops the mobility of tomorrow, today. We deploy shared, connected, automated, and electrified vehicle fleets in the urban environment. Beyond pushing the boundaries of technical development, SHOW creates new business models that put citizens at the center. With real-life demonstrations targeting 20 cities over the project lifetime and beyond, SHOW will integrate various automated vehicles in the public transport network, like driverless shuttles, pods, buses, and taxis. These demonstrations will showcase automated vehicles operating in complex traffic situations and improve their interactions with vulnerable road users. Finally, it will showcase added value services based on big data and artificial intelligence. The result? An exciting new sustainable, efficient and accessible mobility solution that will complement existing public transport and stimulate multimodal travel. Powered by 70 partners and supported by global cooperation across all continents, show aims to be the biggest and most comprehensive real-life urban demonstration of shared, connected, cooperative, automated mobility in Europe. Yeah, it is also important to mention that the um, show is not only focusing on technical solutions, te testing technical solutions, but it also um, studies business models and priority scenarios for impact assessment. Having a look at the, the overall use cases uh, in this project, these are classified under seven categories. 
I will not be going through each of them, but you can see the two highlighted um, use cases. Uh, it is because I will be talking about a pilot project where these uh, use cases are tested. Turin satellite site. Turin is a city in the north of Italy, and uh, this is a, a, a testing site where two autonomous shuttles are used. Uh, and for the operation of these shuttles, these routes that you can see on the right side are defined. This is an area full of, um, well, with many hospitals, and these routes are defined um, in the sense to, to assess how such an operation, autonomous shuttle operation, can increase the accessibility to this hospital, of these hospitals. Um, the project, the, this demonstration, this experimentation has overall two phases. First phase, we call it as pre-demo. In this phase, the autonomous shuttles are operating without passengers. This is to test how they're behaving in the real traffic environment. The second phase, uh, is planned to start in May, whereas the pre-demo is actually starting now in March uh, until end of April, if I'm not wrong. Um, and the, the um, second phase will start in May and will operate for five months, and the citizens of Turin will be able to use this service. Um, there will be in total, as I said, two autonomous shuttles, and the passengers will be able to book their trip uh, for, um, through a special app on their phone. And um, moreover, this shuttle um, will also benefit from prioritization, which uh, is the use case that we talked about before. Um, Swarco, in this case, would be supplying the necessary infrastructure um, for the prioritization of these autonomous shuttles along these routes in order to reduce the travel time uh, of these shuttles and the reliability as well. Okay. Um, another brief um, example of, of another um, testing that is done by the Research Institute TNO in Eindhoven. Uh, this is done in a closed uh, road in a test site by using vehicles that are equipped uh, in order to operate with a certain automation levels. In total, three use cases are tested. In the first one, uh, it is the vehicle approaching uh, at a, towards a traffic light and the behavior under normal operation speed is evaluated. The second one is where we see a pedestrian uh, crossing the road even though he or she receives a red light. So we see a violation of a signal and we're evaluating how the vehicle responds in situations like that. The last one is used, uh, is, is, is done by using two um, vehicles, and they are driving in a cooperative uh, fashion. We, can we go to the link of this video as well? This is also helpful just to see how, how it is actually happening on site, these testings. As I said, this testing was done in a closed road. Um, the other demonstrations that are planned to be um, in as real life demonstrations are um, planned to start now from March 2022. If I can pass, yeah. So um, at this moment, it's a bit too soon to talk about the main outcomes of these um, 
implementations. You can see where uh, the implementations, these demonstrations will take place on this map below. And uh, yeah, the project, as I said, overall is planned to be completed by the end of 2023. Thank you.